hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, thanks again so much for watching. All your comments, um, all your support through all the craziness that's going on. Uh, we really appreciate it. It's really been a great year for us and I know so many of you guys have done projects and shared your pictures, which I am gonna have a video of that coming up pretty soon where you can see actual do-it-yourselfers where we had nothing to do except help them with the design and the consultation and they put in everything on their own and it looks as good as any professional design that I've seen and better than probably 90% of the landscapers and, and different people out there that I see putting in lights that um, when you just don't know quite what to do and don't have that extra guidance, uh, it can look like you're trying to land a plane. It can be overwhelming. It can be underwhelming. We really want to get it just right without going over the top. So one of the questions I get asked all the time is about transformer. How do I size that properly? Which one should I use? And I mean, there's all kinds of uh, cheaper models that you can find at Home Depot and online and that kind of stuff. And I'd, I'd really caution uh, using anything but like a good stainless steel one like this. Especially if you're putting in an LED system, you want to get something, and I'll show you guys some close-ups, but you want to get something that has like a 15 volt tap inside. Um, and what that's going to do is it's going to really help reduce any kind of voltage drop issues and give you a ton of flexibility with your system. When you get some of the small, cheaper ones, they're not going to have that option. So I'll talk about that and some things you can do there to make your uh, life even easier putting in a good, efficient LED low voltage lighting system but basically what you do is you, you're gonna um, you're gonna tally up all your lights so the first thing you want to do is determine how many lights am I gonna put on our on my system that's why we do our free consultations where you can send me pictures of your property and we'll give you a pretty good idea of how many and what types of lights you need and then from there all your lights all your fixtures whether it's somewhere on the box or somewhere on the bulb should tell you how many watts they're gonna use so for example this is a uh, this is just over it's about a six and a half watt uh, lamp which is a brighter fairly bright one they call it a 50 watt equivalent and what we want to do is we want to add up all the lights and all the wattages so let's just pretend this is a five watt we got 10 of those well basically we're at 50 watts uh, so what we want to do is we want to make sure we have a transformer that's at least 20 percent higher than that and the lower quality your lights are the bigger you want to size that because there's something also that it should tell you on the box or on your fixture that it doesn't always tell you when you buy something out of the big box store um, but there is a setting on there called the VA the VA is actually how many watts uh, it takes so the better the quality of the fixture the closer that number is going to be to what it actually is so this for example this has uh, this is a six watt lamp this uses just over seven is their VA which means it uses seven watts so you actually want to size your transformer based on that and not the water to the lamp because a lot of times I see cheap lighting fixtures that say they're three watts but in essence they're using six or seven watts so if you put too many of those on a system you're gonna overload your transformer so something to keep in mind but general rule of thumb add up all your lights and make sure you size a transformer that's at least 20% larger if you're using a good uh, LED system um, and a good low voltage uh, system at that you don't really have to worry too much as you used to with halogen if your transformer is too big I'll tell you if you're doing an LED system um, you really don't need anything that's larger than 300 watts uh, if you do that means you have a huge property and you're probably not doing it yourself anyway and then you've got to start calculating some things but we literally just did a project we had about 75 lights on it it was about seven to ten acre property and we never we only had to use one transformer that was 300 watts all the other ones were at 150 watts because um, just the way uh, that LED systems work and the other thing is because we have a 15 volt tap so to explain a little bit more how that works is basically when you have a 15 volt tap what that means is that you're starting at 15 volts at the transformer and then along the line as you add more lights and run that wire out you're eventually going to get some voltage drop where at a light way down the road you might only get 12 volts okay guys I'm going to show you how the DBRY connectors work and why we use our DBAY connectors is because sometimes when you're running your system um, you're gonna have a line that's coming in from somewhere and you're gonna have a line going out to somewhere and then you might have one light somewhere in the background that you need to run a 12 gauge wire to but if you have three 12 gauge wires coming in you're not gonna be able to fit them into your BBS2 connectors so that's when we use our DBAY connectors. so anytime you need to tee off uh, is a good way to say it that's when you use your DBRY connector and the way you do that is now we've got our one of our wires coming in our 12 gauge we're gonna strip that 
<coughs> Strip the ends off that. We got our wire going out. We're gonna split that. We're gonna strip the ends off of that. And then we've got our third wire that's gonna be going out to our next fixture that we're gonna strip that. And then there's no way we're gonna fit all of those wires into our DBRY connector. So what we do, is we take our morettes for our DBRY connector and we're going to connect one wire from each of those outlets. We're going to twist them together inside of our regular morette. And then you're going to do the same with the other ones. You're going to take those, you're going to twist them together in your regular morette. And then you're gonna take your gel filled tube, you're gonna open up the bottom and you're just gonna slide that inside and then close that off. And snap it tight. And you're gonna do the same thing on the other side, slide it up and in, pull your wires, Snap that tight, and now you've been able to tee off a line and those wires are not going anywhere. All right guys, now how do you wire the last fixture on the line? So this is the last fixture, so you have your 12 gauge wire that goes to it, but there's nothing else at the end. So on all of your BVS2 connectors, you have three terminals, and this happens a lot where um, you're not gonna have a wire going out. So what people do is they try and jam all the wires into here. And really, the way that it works is now you're still gonna have two connections at every single light fixture, but in each connector, you're just gonna have your 12 gauge wire going into the larger terminal, and then you're gonna have your wire from your fixture going into the smaller terminal. You're gonna snap that tight and there's all the wires that are gonna go in there. So there's gonna be an extra hole in the last light on your line. And then you're gonna do the same thing with your other connector. You're gonna have your last 12 gauge wire going in. And then you're gonna have your fixture wire going into the small port, lock those up. So your last light still has two connectors, but there's only two wires going in each one of those connectors instead of trying to jam them all in one. Even though it's the last light, the only difference is there's no 12 gauge wire going out. So the nice thing with LED as opposed to when it was halogen systems, halogen you had to be very precise that you were operating kind of between 10 and a half to 11 and a half volts at every single light, which means you had to be really, um, really caught cognizant of what type of wire you used, uh, how long your runs were, what kind of lights, all that kind of stuff. Most good LED lamps will operate properly anywhere from 9 all the way to 15 volts, which means if you're starting at 15 volts, you can lose up to 6 volts along that line and still not have it affect your light, which if you're using 12 gauge wire, which I would recommend if you're on any do-it-yourself project, just use 12 gauge. You're not going to save that much money by using something smaller and you limit your ability to grow on that system. With 12 gauge wire, a general rule of thumb is I can put 100 watts on a single line and run that wire up to 300 feet without having enough significant voltage drop to cause any kinds of issues. Now this is where uh, a transformer like this that I'll show you comes in handy is now, say you've got, say you're under your, your total wattage for your transformer but you've got a bunch of lights that need to run out a long ways over there and a bunch that need to run out a long ways over there. And you don't wanna loop the whole system because then you're gonna have a ton of wire and you're almost definitely gonna have some voltage drop. Well, what you can do, especially when you're getting a good transformer that has a larger tap like this, is you can actually run multiple wires out of the transformer. So I can have my wires that are going in, I can have one line that is going into my common tap and one line that's going into my 15 volt tap and have them running out that way. And then whatever line I have coming in, say from this side over here, I can do the same thing and I can just twist those wires up 
and I can put two in one terminal and the other two in the other. And then basically what I've done is I've split my voltage, uh, my voltage drop across both those lines. So if you're running excessive lines and you have them going in two directions, just run two wires from your transformer. And as a matter of fact, with these transformers that we use in all our kits, <coughs> this is a 150 watt EX transformer from FX Luminaire. I can actually fit up to three different runs out of this transformer. And I'll show you what even a larger transformer with multiple taps looks like that you can do the same thing. Hey guys, I really hope you enjoyed that video presentation with some great tips and tools on how to go and properly and effectively light up your landscape. And be sure if you want your own free consultation video, just send me an email at cal at lightingdoctor.ca with a few pictures of your property and we'll get back to you with some really cool ideas and ways to go and effectively light your property. And be sure to watch the videos after this one for more tips on how to install landscape lighting as well as how to light up your landscape the best way possible.